Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala Homa. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to use forms, buttons, and database calculations in Microsoft Access 2002. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to use forms, buttons, and database calculations in Microsoft Access 2010. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Access 2010. How to open Microsoft Access 2010? It's quite simple. Go to Start. Go to All Programs. Go to Microsoft Office, where you can able to find Microsoft Access 2010 as a first option. Just click Microsoft Access 2010 in order to open it. Whenever you click Microsoft Access 2010, it will takes you to a view called as Backstage View. By default, new and blank database options are selected. All the work you did will be stored in a default location documents. I wish to change the location. How to change the location? Here you can able to see a small icon. This is called as browse icon. Whenever you click this icon, a dialog box will be generated. It's a new file, new database dialog box will be generated where you can able to navigate to different places. So I'm going to navigate to desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. Let us say MS Access Database Examples. So I'm going to open the folder and provide a name for it. Let us say Student Mark. And click OK. In order to create a database, click Create icon. When you click Create icon, a new database will be generated under the specified name, and by default, Table One will be generated. I want to reassign the table as per my requirement. How to do this? Here you can able to see View. Just click on View and switch to Design View. So whenever you switch to Design View View for first time, it will ask for the table name. So provide the table name as you like, and click OK. So now we just remove this primary key by clicking right-click primary key, or else select the row. It is the primary key. You can remove it. So first, I am going to use the student ID, std underscore ID. So student ID, anyway, it's going to be the number. And let us say student name. It's going to be text. And next, let us say marks. Let us say English. Let us say number. And IT, the data type number. And math. It's going to be number. So now, I need to calculate the total. How to calculate the total? Here, when you click on data type, a drop down will be generated where you can able to use the option called as calculator. So now I am going to use English plus math plus IT. And click OK. Now I need to find the average. How to find out the average? Again, use calculator. Let us say English plus IT plus math divided by three, and click OK. And save the information and close it. Now, you just double-click the student table in order to enter the values. So 
so let us see a a a english 36 9 and 96 so automatically the values will be generated so provide the second value so when you use tab automatically the result will be generated for total and average now I'm going to create a form for this so you wish to create a form and ensure that the table has been selected and go to create tab and where you can able to see form just click on form in order to create a form so when you click on form the form will be generated with the following parameters like ID, student name, English, IT marks, math, total and average. So now I'm going to switch to design view. So go to view where you can able to see design view. You can switch to design view. So this is a design view where you can able to redesign it. So just enlarge it so now I am going to add buttons so just click on buttons and draw the button and first I am going to going for record operation I am going to add new record next I am going to use picture either you can use text or else you can use picture so text this information that add record text will be displayed if you select picture the picture will be displayed instead of name so I'm going to use picture and next and finish so now again I'm going to create one more button to save so choose record operation and choose save record next I'm going to use picture next and finish and once again I'm going to create one more button and draw the button and record operation where I'm going to undo the record next I'm going to use a picture next and finish and next I'm going to use one more button to delete the record draw the button and record operation it's a delete record next use picture next finish so now we are finished with record operations like insert save redo and delete now i'm going for navigation buttons so click button and draw it this time use record navigation go to first next use picture next finish again i'm going to use one more button draw it choose record navigation go to last record next finish and again I'm going to draw one more choose record navigation go to next record next use picture next finish and again one more button click draw the button record navigation and go to previous record next finish now we are done with all our works now go to view and switch to form view or else here you can able to see the form view you can use this option to switch to form view so now so first so last and you can move next and previous so now I wish to add a new record just click new and provide the student ID let us say for let us say student name and and provide the marks for math so no need to provide the marks for total and average by default automatically it will be generated and just save this information and see now you can move to last record first and last so now you are added a new record and I'm going to add once again add five 
basic graphic let's say English marks and provide all the marks so automatically total and average will be generated just save it and check for the last record so now you can able to move next and previous now I wish to delete this record just delete it and if wish to undo it you can use the undo option and for example now I'm going to add one more record to say fifty and no need to provide the information for total and average and just save it so now I'm going to un uh, undo this just click on it so automatically the record will be removed so you can able to see a confirmation message you are about to delete a record because I undo it click S yes. and now you check for last record there is no last record see why because I and do the record this is how you want to use buttons forms and uh, database operations I think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you